flea bay edition today uh, i'm gonna look at milling machines if there's not a whole lot here we may go on to shapers and look at shapers but thought i'd look at milling machines got a couple three interesting things before i really get going through this um i had a couple of emails one email and a conversation in the chat or in uh, the comment section of a video about values what things are worth and all that and we've kind of been talking about that here lately anyway uh, plus i've made i've made a little flea bay purchase here that i'll show you and tell you my thoughts on that too which you probably heard my thoughts before but anyway i got an email from a gentleman apparently an older gentleman and in some instances kind of offensive and i get a little snarly about it now this email came through on my um through the atlasmachineshop.com down at atlasmachineshop.com i periodically check that but that's not the email that i check every day the down at hillsgun.com is the the normal email that i use neither here nor there don't spam me with a bunch of crap because i have to block you but anyway um this down at atlasmachineshop.com it's the email address that's associated with the website primarily and um, i check it oh every couple three days four days once a week whatever whenever i'm actually logged into the into the website and checking stuff there is the way i access that but i got an email from a gentleman an older gentleman apparently about bevel pins um 10-309s which i've got on the website now i've shown how to build stuff like this i think i've probably shown how to build these and if someone wants to build their own i'm i'm all for that you know i mean i appreciate you supporting me through the website um or through donations whatever but um the idea is to keep these accessible to everybody and and make them affordable for everybody so I've got these listed on the web website for six bucks for a pair of new manufactured uh, bevel pins. And normally, you know, you're going to pay six, eight, ten bucks shipping. I don't know what they are, how that's broken down. Normally, those get to, those are an added on thing. You're not just ordering bevel pins. You're ordering the square head bolts that hold them in or something else to, to go with those. So it's not, you know, that kind of cuts down on the shipping of these. So i got this email and it says and, and all it says is um i'm an old man you could send these to me in a post envelope for four dollars and fifty cents well you know i try and do stuff as inexpensively as i can anyway why would you try and beat me up over five or six or eight bucks you know when i've already shown you how to make your own if that's what you choose to do and why are you wasting my time with stuff like that so my response was some people consider me an old man also so you could order them from the website for what they sell for and what they sell and ship for is what I responded back. Well, I just checked the website again this morning as I was logging on to set up for this. And there, I got a response back again. It says, I'll just make my own. Well, more power to you. Why are you wasting both of our times with trying to beat me up over five or six bucks, you know, when I've already told you how to build them yourself. So anyway, that I found that interesting to say the least. So that was one of them. The, the other one was comments through the website, and I understand this perspective, but my perspective is a little bit different. It's that some places machines are um, a whole lot cheaper. You know, they're, they've got a whole lot less value, such as in the Midwest, um, where they'll sometimes just go basically for scrap metal prices, and machines are, are more expensive some places because they're not as readily available. I will disagree with that from the standpoint of a machine's value does not change whatsoever depending on its location and we're talking within the u.s and and within reason you know there's going to be exceptions to that the machine's value itself does not change by its location what will change is what it costs you to get it to your location if you're shipping it from someplace else how desirable the machine is to you what the perceived value is by the buyers and the sellers you know so um, yes, it's going to, it may cost you more to acquire a certain machine, but they're not any more valuable because of their location. Um, you know, my first small Atlas mill came from someplace in the Midwest. I can't even tell you where. Um, and I still pay the same thing. Now, now this same 
commenter had said that, well, he'd built up his pretty good shop by buying stuff low and, and selling it high. Well, that indicates to me that he's got machines available in his location at a reasonable price. Um, so he's buying them at what they're actually worth, maybe, and selling them at what the perceived value of them is. And I hope that makes sense. I'm kind of rambling there. But that's my perspective. So, you know, if I see a Atlas machine on the East Coast that they want, six hundred dollars for um it's no more valuable than a machine that i find at a yard sale down the street or from a dealer locally here to me that wants six hundred dollars for it now it may be a better perceived value to me because i can get the machine a whole lot cheaper that's right here next to me but who knows condition but all things equal that machine on the east coast is not worth any more than the machine here on the west coast um the idea that machines are a whole lot cheaper in the Midwest per se. Well, there are a lot more machines there. A lot of those machines may have been a lot more abused in their life, used harder, used industrially, so they may be more, more wore out. So is that machine cheaper? Um, it may be less expensive because of condition, but as I've looked through locally around here, I was just sitting this morning, there's a 10 inch Atlas listed for six hundred dollars it's not a very well tooled machine it's got a tool post on it a lantern style tool post um, it's got a chuck on it i didn't see a whole lot more there although you don't know until you get there to see what's actually there um they want six hundred dollars for the machine it's been used you know it's got it's pretty brown on the chuck and on the exposed surfaces and everything but that's going to be you know, you don't see a whole lot of Atlas machines around here. You see a few, um, and they pop up occasionally. So that's one. There was just an Atlas Shaper on here last week or something. If you're patient and wait for this stuff, it's going to appear at a decent price. Um, I just made a little flea bay purchase here two weeks ago. I got it. Actually, I got it in the mail, so it must have been about a week ago that I got it. I bought a hand wheel, and it's a six-inch hand wheel. This is the hand wheel that's going on my index centers that I haven't finished out. I haven't really finished them out because I was missing things like a hand wheel. I've got some, some lathe work to do on, on um, the RAM, but I needed a hand wheel to go on it, and I didn't have an extra one here. So uh, there again, if you're patient and watch this stuff, you can get a decent deal. These you see any place from about 40 to 100 bucks. In the, in the $50 to $60 range, I would say, is the average for hand wheels. This one, they had listed for $50 or best offer. I'm not sure that I was willing to give $50 for it, but you don't see a tremendous, tremendous amount of these pop up on the um, on Fleabay. And this one looked to be in pretty good condition. They wanted $50. I put it in my save list. Well, it wasn't but a couple of days later, next day, day after that, I got an offer for 33% off. So what I ended up with was this hand wheel, and it is a very nice hand wheel. The chrome on it's pretty good. There's, there, It's got a few little dinks on it. There's a little rust spot right there where it's been whacked someplace, but not bad. It's got a good handle on it. Um, it's not all roached out inside. It hasn't been on and off. And there was some extra parts that he said he didn't know what they went you know they were with it so he was going to put them in the in the box too well what they were i'm sure this came off of a oh, excuse me i'm sure this came off of a six inch machine we've got a small gib here that looks like a um probably a compound for a six inch there's the nut that goes with it there is the retainer ring and the pin that probably goes on that screw and then there's a dial so uh, a little bit of corrosion on the dial so they're actually all good usable parts although the only thing i was after was the hand wheel itself so by the time i paid tax by the time i paid shipping with 33 percent off it was 43 dollars in my door 43 dollars and change i don't remember what it was i consider that in today's market a fair price for that hand wheel so you know don't get too caught up on where they are you know i'd like to have that machine but it's too far away oh there's lots of machines in the Midwest, you're going to see bigger machines. When we get into this class of, of Atlas machines, they're everywhere. You know, they may be sitting in some old guy's garage like mine. You know, I've got several machines sitting in my little shop um, that may not go anyplace until 
that individual goes into the nursing home, passes away, whatever the case may be, and or prepares for that, either he's selling them off or his kids are selling off, you know, taking care of his estate, whatever the case may be. So don't get too caught up on, oh, there you're, I can't find any here. They're cheap here, but I don't live here, so I can't get any of them. No, that's not true. There's machines everywhere um, for reasonable prices, you know. The, and it depends on desirability. You know, a, a bigger machine, they're not bringing as much money unless they're new modern machines. Back to that same example we talked about last week about there being a shaper here within a couple hundred miles of me that they want 600 bucks, and it was a decent sized Rockford shaper. I would really like to have that machine. Um, and it's still there. I looked at it today again. So we'll see what happens with that. You know, I don't, ha I don't anticipate buying it, but by the same token, I'll watch that machine, and if opportunity presented itself, I might end up with it. It's not a machine I need. It's not a machine I have space for, but it's a machine that I kind of like, and it's not real desirable, so it's not bringing a whole lot of money from, you know, there's no market competition for it. So that's, that's the way it is with all of the larger machines, smaller machines, a little bit less. Um, you know, I looked this morning, there was a couple of South Bends listed. One, one was a nine inch South Bend. I think they wanted thousand, twelve hundred dollars for it, something. Looked to be a fairly decent machine and a more capable machine than an Atlas machine is going to be. So, um, cult followings for both, you know, they're, somebody will snag up that, that nine inch South Bend. Since it's listed locally here, I imagine it will probably bring that. There won't be a whole lot of competition. Somebody will pop up and say they want that machine. Um, you know, when you get them listed on Flea Bay, you get people that are get excited about it. Now, the other side to that is a lot of the things that you see sold, and this hand wheel is one of them. This came from somebody that I consider to be a junk dealer. This was a, this was a hand wheel from, looks like a, picker of some sort, you know, somebody's, uh, the name of his shop indicated that he didn't deal in these. Now, I have just recently been involved with um, an individual I know is taking care of the estate or helping take care of the estate of a old time machinist that passed away. Um, the actual son of this individual doesn't live locally so he's had to come in and try and help take care of this estate take what he wanted liquidate the rest um, the individual that i know has taken care of the tools and things like that and i have purchased a lot of tooling um, and i got a very good deal on that tooling um, which is kind of another story, but the gist of this is some of the things that were being sold off were firearms related. There were some stocks that was the primary thing. And a few other little things. An individual came in and bought 90% of that, and he didn't even really know what it was. He knew a little bit about what he was purchasing, but he was speculating that he could turn around and sell it because there were some questions that he asked um, about what kind of gun did this fit or, you know, when it was clearly marked or it was, but he had no idea really what it was other than he thought he could flip a profit on it. So that's a lot of the things you see happening here. And that's probably why I got a good enough deal on this hand wheel is this guy pulled a number out of his ass, put it out there for what he wanted for this. And I'm not complaining about it because I got a good deal on this hand wheel or a fair deal. Um, but when he, it was showed that there was interest in that, why he immediately sent me an email and he was certainly willing to take less. So a lot of these guys are just speculating on this stuff. So anyway, I've rambled long enough and probably not explained anything, but it, it comes back to the same thing of this was perceived value on a lot of this stuff and it's not worth it. Um, I, I saw a couple of machines that have been marked down since I saw them a week ago and they've been marked down substantially, you know, three, $400 on some of this stuff. So, um, it's, it's just not worth getting in a big hurry about these things. So anyway, milling machine stuff. Um, milling machine, table feed, dial, badge, change gear, guard cover, MF-28. They want 8577. This is just the first listing. Um, there's, there's stuff here, but it's stuff you don't need. There again, they're, um, 
used part in good shape. What's the description say? This is the machine that's being parted out. As pictured in nice shape, free USA shipping. Um, this guy's got a lot of feedback, not necessarily somebody that I, it's not something that I recognize as a tool dealer, which doesn't mean anything. Uh, let's look at the big pictures very quickly. See, this is just the side cover. There's no lower door on it. It does have the hinge. It's got the faded out uh, gear selector cover, and it's got the lock pin for changing it, and an oiler on the back. Otherwise, this is an end gear cover on a machine that's being parted out that you don't need. You know, why Why would you need this? This is a leftover junk. Um, this part in this condition, it, it's a it's a casting that you have no use for. It's worth 20 bucks. You know, and there again, I'm pretty harsh about this stuff, but that's all it's worth is 20 bucks. And they want 85.77. So if you gave 20 bucks and another uh, 20 in shipping is what you're going to pay on that because it'll fit in a medium flat rate box, I believe. Right below a new listing, Atlas Craftsman two-piece vise with W68 two milling table XY rotary drill press metal lathe. This is the, uh, they want $134.99 with no bids or $199.99 buy it now and 1040 shipping. This is the little vise that goes on the cross feed table. And this is an industrial tool store. What does it say? They're gonna tell you it's rare and you don't see a tremendous, tremendous amount, but actual items pictured. Um, and that's all it says. So we can look at the big pictures. There's nowhere, these are nowhere near worth 200 bucks. It's not worth 150 bucks. This is a cast iron part here. This is a cast iron part here. They're, this one's basically an angle block. Um, and granted, they've, they're cast out. They've got these bosses and stuff. This one's got the two, I think those are three eighths, uh, push screws that go in there and they're just an just a allen head screw that's threaded to push against this jaw which is just a standard flat um jaw you know steel these are steel jaw these would probably i'll have to measure mine and see i will bet the standard um the standard aluminum and steel vice jaws that i build will fit right on here although as i remember these are well, it is. It's recessed at the back, and they may be a fix there. I don't remember exactly, but I don't believe so. Anyway, they're a, they're a small thing. They're not, you know, these, if you find these, these should be a $75 part probably on a good day. You know, that's, that's all they're worth. They're just literally not worth any more than that. I could tell you how valuable they are and everything, but I'd be lying to you. These are these are not. You know, if you've got a cross feed table or the X Y table, um, these fit on either of them. They are functional. They are useful, but they're not worth. Apparently, missing one of the bolts. This is a hold down bolt here. Should have one more here. And the way these work is, this clamps into a T slot piece goes in you clamp this one up against with a t-slot and those two screws will um, add pressure to it to lock it in place that's all they are so you know on a good day in your door 75 bucks okay atlas mfb milling machine with base cutters and parts pre-owned 1300 or best offer and i've not looked at this don't recognize the seller not a whole lot of feedback Got some, but not a tremendous, tremendous amount. Selling my Atlas MFB uh, stand and numerous cutters. Starts up and around the power feed, works forward and reverse. I think we just looked at this one, table of 10. Uh, I'll work, except, yeah, except the cross feed nut is broken off on the traverse. Um, yeah, we just looked at this one last week. I won't go back and look at it. I don't know what I would have said last week. You know, there, there again, not the original base. We could look at the picture real quick just since we're here. Um, yeah, standard milling machine. You know, this is a this is just somebody's base they put underneath it. They built for underneath it. Put underneath it something that's not Atlas. So all you're buying is a machine that's original Atlas. It's not. You know, it's in. Yeah, it's got this goobered up stuff here. I don't know what this is all about. 
Um, you know, eight hundred dollar machine. I'll stick my neck out and say eight hundred dollar machine. I, I should probably go back and look and see what I valued out of before. No guards on it. Yeah, seven fifty, eight hundred dollars. You know, when you don't have the guards. Um, yeah, that's a goofy draw bar of some sort. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to go back and look at the look at the last couple of videos and see because we looked at this machine. I, I would say seven fifty, maybe eight hundred dollars. That's all the farther we're gonna go with that. So let's go right on down. Atlas lathe hand wheel lever tool. This is the balanced handle. Um forty four ninety nine was $49.99 or best offer and $15 shipping. See, I think $15 shipping is getting a little extraordinary for these. I try and, on these smaller parts, I think I try and, I think I've gone up to about $10 and that usually ships in a flat rate box. Um, now this is a place with a lot, lot, lot of feedback and a user ID that doesn't really lend itself to being machine oriented. Um, although please see my other options for a large selection of machinist items. I will combine shipping. Other than that it says absolutely nothing about um, about the part itself. Let's look at this full size here. This is probably off of a 10 inch. Um, although this may not even be an Atlas because this to me looks like a steel handle all the way around and uh, the Atlas for a standard, the smaller Atlas machines like we look at would be a, would be a um, plated Zamac and that doesn't really look like plated Zamac here let's yeah that's a cast handle so I would question if this uh, it, it does have an atlas look though to it um, if that is Zamac and the plating's peeling off of there then that's pretty ugly and I would completely stay away from that See the other side of that. Yeah, this is not, I don't believe this is an Atlas handle. Um, it doesn't have a recess in the top part like your nut would, would go down into it. It doesn't look like. Go back and see one more time, but I don't believe that's an Atlas. I believe that's something else. Um, so that pretty much tells me that that's worth about 15 bucks 20 bucks in your door now this is going to be the same seller it's advertised as an atlas also but this is not an atlas part atlas didn't um, atlas lathe mill atlas lathe hand lever part um, wouldn't have Atlas didn't do anything that I remember with these I guess we could look at the bigger picture here yeah see Atlas didn't do anything that was splined here as far as I know this almost looks like a new casting Now, maybe this is something that came off of a commercial model, but, you know, three and a half inches long is getting kind of long for on our smaller Atlas machines. Like I say, maybe one of the bigger machines, but, um, no. So, there again, they want $44.99 or best offer and $14.99 shipping. Now, that's, that's worth 10 bucks and a little bit of shipping. Yeah, these are all from the same seller. There's another hand wheel um, that they're advertising as a, as a part. Uh, 
Okay, now there is a, this is, this is all the same seller. Now here's a milling attachment, 10-501, no vice. Um, yeah, see, there's nothing, there's nothing at all about, in the, the descriptions about what these actually are. So, they want $179.99 or best offer. Was 199 and 10% off and 18.99 shipping. So this is an Atlas part. It's in no way complete. Um, there's no base underneath it. You got no base, you got no gib lock there. You got no handle because the handle may be, although I don't believe the handle's on the, those that they're trying to sell out otherwise. You gotta see what's, what's happened. What's happened here. Oh, this has all been machined away. That's why. This base should extend out. What kind of a piece of crap do we have here? You don't even have a good casting. Um, yeah, this has all been changed. I don't understand what they've done here. This is a piece of crap. This is a piece of crap. They have taken this and modified it to fit, I'm going to say a 6 inch, maybe it's a 10-12. But they've taken the swivel base off of the bottom and they put a t-nut here on the bottom and they put a key in here where you should have the the base this is not worth now and and this whole back has been machined off um let's look at another machine let's see this this whole bottom should extend out this way this this angle should be carried on here so this has all been machined away um yeah yeah no um this is worth 75 bucks is what this is worth that's all it is right below and i'm not going to go look there's another um Another balanced hand wheel for $44.99 or best offer in $14.99 shipping that they're advertising for Atlas. I don't believe those are Atlas. Uh, this is this is crap. That's what this is. And I think we've looked at the rest of this stuff probably. Here's another Shaper Vice. Um, this one has the you know, $319 or best offer in free shipping. This one that was all drilled up. Yeah, previous owner had it on a drill press. We've looked at this. So, um, I'm not even going to go in and look at this. This is more crap. All right. So, I think that's pretty much... I don't know. Here's another horizontal mill. And I would imagine we've looked at this. Uh, Atlas Horizontal Milling Machine Pre-owned. $1,900 or best offer. Pickup only. I bet we've looked at this. I won't waste our time. Yeah, it doesn't say anything except in great shape. Only driven by a little old lady on Sundays to church. I suppose we could quickly look at it. I don't... Um, I'm sure we've already looked at this machine because this is listed farther down. Got the kick out here. It looks okay from there. There's no overarm. There's no guards. Yeah, this is the one that didn't have the, doesn't have the proper pulleys on it. Um, 
yeah, no sense in wasting our time on that either. Let's um, let's look at shapers. This is going to be a quickie today. We can. No, 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 no. Where are we at here? I don't think. Yeah, I don't think there's anything new here that we haven't looked at. Yeah, this is all things that we've already looked at. Now here's just, this just popped up here, and I will find this kind of interesting if it's what I think it is. Atlas 12-inch metal label accessories, Craftsman Machinist Tool and Die Maker pre-owned, $995 and zero bids. Um... Go look what the descriptions say. Collect, yep, collector grade, Atlas 12 inch metal label. Now, see, normally we don't look at the commercial stuff, or I don't look at the commercial stuff, but Atlas 12 inch metal label accessories, collector grade. Um, and I think, and I'm speculating here, but I think this Atlas Lathe is in very good use condition, best one I've ever seen. You'll find normal wear and use marks that is consistent with age. Please review the photos carefully. Um, and, and I'm going off of memory here. Let's look at these pictures. Just scrolling through and look at these because this may not be the one that I'm thinking it is but if memory serves me right this is a machine advertised as having to belong to an old machinist and this picture right here is the one that that makes me think that um, and and the description that says tool and die maker this was a machine that was advertised several, 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 several months ago. And although this is not, I, re I remember this picture, I think I remember this picture. But this machine was setting in a... Antique shop was advertised as having belonged to a tool and die maker, it was collector grade, best condition they'd ever seen, and, and I could be mistaken, and they wanted, um, I think like 2400 no, they wanted more than that, I think they wanted like $3,200. Uh, some astronomical price, 50, 4,200, 52. Uh, and there again, I could be mistaken because this has been months and months and months ago. Um, but I believe this is probably the same machine, just from reading the description, being a collector's grade, being really stood out that it was tool and die maker's lay, the best one they'd ever seen, and all of that. So, and I just find this interesting, it goes back to the same old thing of these, these machines, if it is indeed the same machine, and I believe it is, 
Um, you know, they're not worth nearly what they think they are. And whether someone speculated on this, there again, as a as a antique dealer speculating that they were going to get big bucks, somebody told them it was worth this, whatever the case may be. Now it's now it's down to now it's down to nine hundred and ninety five dollars in local pickup. And it was it was back east. Um I believe this is that same machine. So so yeah, you know, that, that just shows that they've either set on this machine forever or else it's changed hands once, maybe twice, what whatever. But it's changed hands and it's now only worth nine hundred and ninety five dollars. Now, it may very well be worth nine hundred and ninety five dollars with the tooling that's shown and everything, but it wasn't worth nearly what um what it was listed for before. So anyway, that's all I got. I know I've kind of rambled today. Hopefully that gives you a little insight. The guys that are looking for these machines, you know, don't get sucked in. Um, they're worth what they're worth. Same way with the parts I build. I think I give a pretty good value. They're worth what they're worth. If you want them there, they are. Um, and, and that's what these sell, the rest of these sellers think too. This is what we're selling them for. If you don't want to give me that, why then don't buy them. But um, the difference is I've tried to keep the cost down on my stuff and I think I've done a relatively good job at least up till this point although we're probably going to see a bump here directly um, been a lot of changes in the way I'm doing stuff too but um, you know just keep in perspective if especially on used stuff if price is going to come down or you know if they're too high prices are going to come down so that's what we're seeing so anyway hopefully you find that a little bit useful sorry i rambled on today comment suggestions leave them in the comment section for me below guys and as always thanks for taking the time to watch